Hi, I'm Rachel Michiko Whitney with ID8 TV here with Jenny Yang. Hi, Jenny, how are you? Hi, Rachel, I'm doing well. Um, so, tell us a little bit about how you first got into the industry. Um, did you always love performing, or was there a certain incident that oh got you gosh. to where you are now? Well, you know, I grew up a good Asian, okay. straight A's, got into good schools, right? And, um, you know, I had a great professional job that, like, okay. allowed me, yeah, I worked in the labor movement in politics. Okay. You know, uh, I was yelping my food every week, you know. I was, like, buying full price in anthropology. And it was great. I was living that yuppie life. And then I realized it wasn't fulfilling me. And I was getting burnt out. And I've always performed poetry, actually. I used to perform poetry oh, ever cool. since college. Okay. And um, I, I would always get this feedback, like, oh, you're really funny. Or it would be, like, really emotional poems, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and then finally, I was just like, you know what, screw this. I'm not happy at my job. Um, I just need to get myself happy. I need to embrace my creativity. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to try stand-up comedy. And I did it. Just like that. Just like that. You know, wow. someone gave me a feedback saying, you know what, you, you, for this eighth time, they're like, oh, you know, you remind me of a stand-up comedian. And then, but that's when I was ready to hear it. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what, right now I declare, before my next birthday, I'm going to do an open mic stand-up comedy. Just to try it. So did you take any classes before? You literally no. just like got up on stage and I just got started. up on stage and just made it up. It wasn't so bad. I did all of the terrible things that you're not supposed to do, like mm -hmm. poop jokes, like okay. potty humor, like I said dingleberries at some point and like did this motion. Why, <laughs> you know? So it was, but but you know, I I I really love that I took that risk because, awesome. and it, I was almost gonna throw up, because it's actually giving me um, a new life. You know, I'm now I, full time. I do stand up comedy. I produce live comedy shows. I act. I write. I make videos for the internet sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it's really also put me more in touch with the Asian American community again. You know, that's how I kind of started. I was very much active as a student activist mm -hmm. on Asian American issues, students of color issues. And I think working in politics sort of more generally took me away from that, even though my friends were still kind of working in our community. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so because of my ability to be freelance and to sort of collaborate with the people that I want to collaborate with, mm -hmm. I get to come to V3Con and yeah. talk to more folks who care about representing our voices. And um, do you live in L.A. now? or I've, Yes. Always I'm in L.A.? LA. Uh -huh. Did you ever consider going to New York to pursue stand-up at all? Or? Yeah, I mean, um, I'm definitely open to moving to another city if, if I will be employed, right? Yeah, it's like for, for a show yeah. or whatnot. Um, but I think I travel a lot, so essentially yeah. my home base is LA, this is where my family is, this is where I grew up. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, I definitely love going to all parts of the country, speaking to college students, performing stand-up comedy, mm -hmm. uh, you know, giving talks about my experience, so yeah. Um, do you have any stand-up comedians that you look up to or are, that are your idols? Yeah, I mean, you know, um, Margaret Cho is always going to be the queen. Right, but I love Ali Wong, I love Aparna Nancherla, I love Maria Bamford, you know, um, I'm also really inspired by George Carlin. You know, these days you could kind of find clips of anyone, you know, and so you can really study stand up or whatever craft you're doing. Um, and so, you know, yeah, you know, uh, Eddie Murphy back in the day, like I was a little tiny kid memorizing Eddie Murphy bits that I shouldn't have memorized because I had much older brothers who played his stuff, you know, around. And um, there's just, you know, I think most stand-up comedians will tell you, no matter what kind of flavor they are and what their style is, there's always something in the craft that they can be inspired by. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for speaking with me, and congratulations on all your, all your success, and best of luck to your future. I'm Rachel Michiko-Whitney with ID8 TV.